Good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Stony Brook Newsbreak. I'm Marie Lillis. And I'm Alexandra Knoll. Andrew Lester is pleading not guilty in the shooting of a black teenager who mistakenly rang his doorbell last week. 16-year-old Ralph Yarrow was shot twice around 10 p.m. on Thursday and is now recovering at home. Lester, the Kansas City homeowner, claims that he fired out of fear. However, many in the community are questioning why this violent force was used against a teenager who posed no immediate threat. He is charged with assault in the first degree and armed criminal action and faces up to life in prison. The Wall Street Journal reporter arrested in Russia for espionage charges will remain in jail until trial. Evan Gershkovich appeared in court for the first time since his arrest on March 29th. He was denied an appeal on Tuesday for his attention that would allow him to be placed under house arrest until trial. The judge also rejected a bail offer by the Wall Street Journal's parent company, Dow Jones, totaling over $600,000. Gershkovich rejects the charges against him and faces up to 20 years in prison if convicted. Drivers will contend with 30 new speed cameras on highways across New York State, including the Long Island Expressway. The automated work zone speed monitoring pilot program rolled out on Monday. The speed cameras are intended to protect road repair units and ensure that drivers abide by work zone speed limits. Drivers will be given warnings for the first 30 days and issued tickets for violating work zone speed limits once the grace period ends. Stony Brook has an exciting lineup of events this weekend. Earthstock Celebration is in full swing this week. It features events from April 17th to April 21st. The annual event aims to promote sustainability, conservation, and the environment through various programming, including expert talks, live music, and food trucks. Returning favorites include Pete Moss and the Fertilizers, T.P. Ted, and the Drum Circle, as well as the annual Duck Race. New attractions include planting flowers around campus, with close to 100 flowers set to be planted at the Student Activity Center and the Stony Brook Union. The student-run radio station, WUSB, is hosting their Spring Bash this Saturday, April 22nd. The free concert at the Staller Steps features local artists such as Chronic Delta, Tima Likes Music, Off Colors, and Nick Corridor. The bash starts at 12 noon. In honor of Earth Day, there will be an upcycle event where attendees can reinvent old clothes with tie-dye and stencils. Lastly, we have good news for all music lovers and fans of Stony Brook Spirit. The Stony Brook University Varsity Band's fifth annual concert on April 21st is sure to be an unforgettable experience. Selections will include classic hits like Phantom of the Opera and Dancing Queen, and special guest appearances by Stony Brook Spirit Squad and Tyco Tides. This has been another edition of the Stony Brook Newsbreak. I'm Marie Lolis. And I'm Alexander Knoll.